Well, here we are at uh, Smart Energy Expo 2021 with Rex from GrowWatt. And uh, I've had a lot to do with GrowWatt over the years. I've got quite a few of their products at my lab, but some new stuff has arrived. So Rex, tell me about this one. So obviously, this one's our XH inverter. Yeah. This one already in Australia market for almost six months. And we have updated. The before version, we have to use another DC to DC, like a DC transformer, and to boost the DC to higher voltage. At this time, we change the new batteries, new cells, new uh, new battery technologies. Actually, same battery technology, but a new uh, BMS battery management system. So this is a high voltage battery. Yeah, it is a high voltage battery. Ah, so I remember this unit with the DC-DC converter, but that's not required because you've now moved to a high voltage battery. Exactly. So obviously the DC-DC converter, that one is a little bit harder to install, to be honest, uh, with the feedback of the installers. Then we change something, we make some alteration, updating for the street market. And this is our ARC XH hybrid uh, uh, high voltage battery. So this one definitely will be a big seller in 2021. So tell me about the specs on the inverter first. What's its power rating? So obviously this one is 5K and uh, it can work both ways. I mean, it's a 5K feedback to grid and a 5K support your family load at the same time. So five kilowatts in backup? Yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. so it's symmetrical, that's great. Yeah. Um, I'm familiar with the app, it's a very easy to set up one. So you have a Wi-Fi dongle, yeah. and then you can go to the GrowWatt app and set this up. Yeah. Yep, and it's got the on-screen display. Yeah. Great, um, tell me about this battery. So obviously for this battery, it's modulized. Each of the modular is like 2.56 kilowatt hour. Maximum you can put 10 of them. So that, that yeah. Wow. So that means a 25.6 kilowatt hour. That's In one stack? Yeah. Uh, actually, it will be two stacks. Yes. One is like uh, four, four batteries. Yes. And uh, the other one is six. Right. Four batteries with uh, this one. And uh, what do we call it? DC, DC, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is uh, BMS, probably. Yep. And uh, six on the other. So together you can make a ton of them together. One of the things that, as an installer, I often think about is how heavy it is. Now, this looks like it'd be very heavy, but you, it's modular, isn't it? It's modular. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit over Australia legal weight. Uh, I think Australia legal weight is like 23 kilograms. Yep. This one is like 30, 30, 33. So two people. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, definitely two people. Too. Yeah. And it, it's the form factor that. makes it easy to lift. So one person, one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 That one. So probably have to lift it up from bottom. And uh, yeah. And for this one, you can tell all the cables are being sealed inside. We'll have a closer look at those in a minute. Yeah. But is this um, outdoor, indoor, or a bit of both? IP55, so obviously you can put it out for outdoor, uh, outdoor use. But there's no direct sunshine, no direct rain. And also a little bit of lifted from the from the ground. Yeah, so it's pretty normal. You don't want any batteries to be in direct sunshine. They all, they all, they all yeah, like. No batteries will really like yeah, sunshine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I see you've got another inverter over here. So let's slide over and look at that one. Yeah, sure. Well, this inverter looks a bit different. It's quite a bit bigger. What's yeah. the difference here? Uh, this one, for, for this one, this one is uh, three-phase uh, high voltage hybrid inverter. So obviously it's right. for three-phase scenario. Maximum we got 10K. This is a 10K output. And output of the grid and uh, uh, it's a, another big, uh, big advantage for this one it's the battery discharging rate can go as high as 10k so you can deliver 10 kilowatts of power from the battery yeah 10 in backup yeah three phase yeah three phase wow so okay and even surface unbalanced that's no problem so unbalanced load support yeah well, I'm wow. learning this is um, becoming a, a new thing, is being able to do this, where yeah. you don't have to export on the other two phases when you're supporting one. You can actually charge the battery and support one phase. Exactly. That's wow. uh, Yeah, that's uh, our three-phase uh, hybrid one. Now, and this has an MPPT? It's two MPPTs. Two MPPTs. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's a three strings. So one MPPT with two strings, one MPPT with one string. So obviously, easy for DC oversizing. Right, so you can put a lot of solar onto this inverter. Yeah, definitely. You, certainly more than 10 kilowatts. Yeah, and uh, but for Australia STC purpose, so you only allow the like uh, oversizing to 1.3 times. That's it. Yeah. But I believe once you add batteries, the the oversizing limit is uh, goes away. So yeah, we can yeah. go up to the manufacturer's recommendation. Yeah, it's a probably yeah. 1.5. That's not a problem. Yeah. So this is also by the look of it, um, IP55. 
MP65 for this one and MP55 for the batteries. And the same conditions that it's stackable, you can have multiple sizes. Yeah, maximum 10, just like that one. And each module is modular, uh, each mo modularized. And each of the modular is 2.56 kilowatt hour. Right, so up to 25.6 kilowatt hours exactly. in, in the full yeah. 10 units. Yeah. Uh, in two, two, two stacks. Yeah, two stacks. Right. Yeah. Ah, I like the way it's so slim too. It, yeah. it, for residential applications, people are always worried about where's it going to go? Yeah. Can I fit it in my garage? Yeah. yeah. And uh, in terms of the, the CC approved list, is it uh, on the way? Um, and uh, the inverters are already approved, but yeah. there's a problem because uh, AS4777 point two seven twenty, and uh, all the inverter has been renewed. Yeah. We, will, we will definitely renew this one as well as possible. And uh, all for all the batteries, they are still on the way. Right, yeah. yeah. That's pretty normal when a new product comes out. We've got to jump through a lot of hoops to get it approved. Exactly. Yeah, cool. Well, thanks very much, Rex. Thank you, Glenn. We appreciate for your long time support. Uh, we really value and uh, care about your feedback and your support. Thank you. Thank you. So, here we are at the, uh, the CNI stand, really, where you've got your larger systems, Rex. So, Rex, um, tell everyone about the, the new inverters here. Right. Thank you, Glenn. So, obviously, for this one, this is our uh, 30 kilowatt for MPPD, new Dash X platform. So this one is definitely, uh, I'm pretty confident of uh, this one. I understand, plenty of the Australian local installers, because of the, the, the rooftop, they prefer inverter, commercial inverter with more MPPTs. It's understandable. How many so, MPPTs in this one? So this one has four MPPTs, so you can install four directions of the uh, solar panels. So, and easy for installation, and uh, easy to get uh, enough of your STC. Cool. And the one behind you? That one is our biggest one. This one is 50 to 80k. And then they got six MPPDs. At this stage, they got six MPPDs. But after this September, September, we will change it to seven MPPDs for this one. Wow, seven MPPDs yep. up to 80 kilowatts. Yeah, 80 kilowatts, power. yeah. Wow. Easy for installation. Everyone is super convenient. Yep. And we have built up. This one even had a high voltage and a current curve diagnosis function. So obviously, Anything goes wrong, and it will tell you which string of the panels goes wrong. So string diagnosis. Yeah, it's very smart. Wow, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Cool. And you've got a little one over here. So we slide over to that. Yeah. So this is the the little baby. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's not. It's a three phase, and uh, it's a 10 to 15 kilowatt uh, kilowatt output. Uh, 15 kilowatts. Yeah, 15 kilowatts. Super In this light. little thing yeah, here. Yeah, super light. And uh, it's amazing. So, yeah. And this one got uh, two MPDs about three strings. And this one already CC approved. So obviously we, it's like an update from our old Dash S platform uh, and to a new Dash X one. So we already got a touch button and we always keep the screen. You know, we talk a lot of installers and Australia and the users. You always see that it keeps the screen of the inverter so they can see and read what is going on of the inverter. That's why we keep the screen. Great. Well, thanks very much, Rex. Thank you, Glenn. As always, we really appreciate it for your long time help. No worries. See ya.